The Book of Judges by John Smith. So the Israelites did more evil in the eyes of the G-Man, yada yada. Does anybody see a pattern here? Anyway, this time the Midianites took over and the Israelites fled to live in a cave or something. The Midianites ruined crops all the way to Gaza and they destroyed sheep and cattle and donkeys. And the Israelites cried to the Lord for help. I brought all you guys out of the land of Egypt, remember? I delivered you from the hands of your oppressors and gave you land where people were already living, but who cares about that? But you turned to other gods because you have short memories. So the angel of the Lord appeared before Gideon. You are the angel of the Lord, and this isn't just a dream or a vision or something. How can you prove that you aren't a figment of my imagination? If you are with us, then why has all this bad stuff happened? Yeah, G-Man, what gives with this whole problem of evil thing? I'm sure you'll just make me the scapegoat later on in this book. Hey, you guys don't get to ask the questions around here. I'm Lord Yahweh. I do what I want. Our ancestors told us all about the miracles and wonders. So why haven't you done any of those for us lately? It has been a few generations later and none of us were there when all that stuff in Egypt went down and we didn't witness them ourselves. For all we know, our ancestors were just spinning yarns and telling big fish stories as they sometimes do. Son, my omnipresent self is standing right here in front of you in my Angel of the Lord incarnation. Isn't that proof enough for you? Wait, wait, wait. Could G-Man actually appear before people? I thought he only showed Moses his backside that one time because humans couldn't stand in the presence or look at God or something. I'm so confused. Well, I'm Lord Yahweh, so I can change the rules whenever I want. You're not going to die. I need you right now to fight righteous battles for me. If I have found favor in your eyes, then give me a sign that it is really you. Good for you, Gideon. Asking for evidence. I think I read somewhere in this book you're really not supposed to put the Lord your God to the test. Eh, maybe it was written after your time. I'm too lazy to go look it up right now. So Gideon made a sacrifice of a young goat to the Lord. Slaughter, blood, sprinkle, sprinkle. He also offered bread without yeast. Take, Take the, the meat and the bread without yeast, yeast and place them on this rock. And the angel of the Lord was holding a staff. Wait, why does G-Man need to hold a staff? Satan, hush. The angel of the Lord was holding a staff, and he touched the staff to the rock, and the meat and the bread burst into flame. So, I want you to go down and tear down a bunch of Asherah poles and Baal altars and make altars of uncut stones to me and sacrifice some bulls, because I like the sweet, sweet smell of barbecue. I have seen the Lord face to face, but I thought if you see the Lord God face to face, you would die. I think I read that somewhere. But Gideon was afraid to tear down Baal and Asherah poles in the middle of the day. So he did it in secret, at night, so no one would know it was him. And the people woke and saw the Asherah poles torn down, and the Baal altars demolished, and newly built altars with bull sacrifices on them. Who did this, they asked. Apparently Gideon wasn't all that good of a night ninja, because somebody saw him or he left behind evidence or something, one of those. And the people demanded that Gideon be killed. But some of the people said, If Baal is really a god, then let him defend himself. Let Baal just show up and actually do some righteous justice. Since Gideon's the one who tore down those altars. Hey, that's some pretty sound thinking there. I mean, if gods are really all-powerful, can't they just take care of themselves? That seems pretty reasonable. So the Midianites and the Amalekites did a Marvel team-up and Gideon gathered a bunch of his own forces, and Gideon put the Lord his God to the test. God, I am putting down this wool fleece on the threshing floor. If the ground is dry, 
but there is dew on the fleece tomorrow morning, then I will know you are with me. Oh, fine. If it'll get you to do some righteous slaughtering in my name already. And the next day, Gideon wrung out a bowl full of water from the fleece, but the ground was dry. Okay, God. I know I am not supposed to put you to the test, and I know that I already did it once, but I am going to do it again. Put you to the test, that is. So I am leaving the fleece on the threshing floor again. This time I want you to make the floor covered with dew and leave the fleece dry. And the next morning the fleece was dry and the floor was covered with dew. Yeah, cool story, bro. Ugh, I think I've had enough of this for one day. Why, hello there, servants and followers of Lord Yahweh. It's me, Gideon. You should subscribe to John Smith's channel, but don't give him any money on Patreon. He's an atheist without morals, and he will just spend it on sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Or just a cup of coffee for Satan, because I got to deal with all these Looney Tunes all day, every day. I need my caffeine. <laughs>